Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So, yeah, as the title says, this is HTC Sense Home for other Android devices. Now, I joined the beta program for the HTC um, uh, for HTC a long time ago, and uh, this is something that I didn't see coming. So, uh, before I get this video going, I haven't actually turned it on yet. Uh, but basically, I have my HTC 10 here because I want to see uh, how much, how close they were able to get this to to resemble the real deal. Now. Um, I tried to install this on my Galaxy J7. It doesn't work. It says it's not compatible. I tried it on the um, the um, um, uh, oh gosh LG K10, and it didn't work. I put it on the Moto X, and obviously it works because the specs on here. Uh, I'm assuming you have to have a, a pretty high-end device, or at least something that's pretty powerful in order to run this launcher. Now I don't know why that is. But it wouldn't work on the J7 and it wouldn't work on the K10. Those are the two phones I tried it on. So uh, let me press home and see if it, yep, here we go. So we're going to select always. And here's the walkthrough. So let's move this over here. I'm right-handed, but I always use my left hand for videos. Who knows? Um, so here is the walkthrough. So this is what your face switch immediately, as you saw me do there. So if you're able to install this, uh, it does work on the Moto X Pure Edition, and it'll probably work on a lot of high-end phones. Uh, I don't know for sure though, but I know it works on this phone. I tried it on other phones, and it did not work. And here it's asking me do I want to select my HTC wallpaper, the current wallpaper, and I'm gonna go all the way. And uh, I've already done that. So let's see what happens. Here we are. And here it is. So. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Yeah, so it says tap and hold to add a short screen. Okay, yeah, so this is pretty much, um, for now, it looks the same. And right now I'm on custom, so let's go alphabetical. And yeah, there we go. Hit the three dots. Hit the three dots. Uh, I've got managed apps over here on the HTC uh, 10 and I don't have managed apps on this version. So I wish I had my stands like I used to have before. So yeah, this is um, what we get here. So you've got themes here. So let's go to the theme store. So it's got HTC themes. telling me how I can do it. Uh, let's skip this, I don't need to sign in and everything. So yeah, here is the theme store. Um, let's go into the theme store here and see what's, what's different or what's the same. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. I wanna to try to apply the same theme on here. Let's go to classic theme layouts. I wanna to try to apply the same theme on each one of these. Let's see if it's there. Whoa, look at this thing. That's definitely iOS inspired. Um, so it looks like right now, I don't see some of the same themes in here. Did they make a separate theme store just for the launcher? I don't know, but it definitely doesn't appear to have the same themes. That theme is available, because I have it. Boom, there we go. So I'm gonna put this, ugh. Let me sign in real quick. I'll just sign in with Google. All right, so I'm signed in, let's download. Now let me go over here to my themes real quick because I have that theme for sure, I know I do. And I'm gonna apply it and let me find it over here. Let's see here. I know I have uh, that theme. I gotta find this thing. I know I have it.
There it is right there. Let's apply it. Come on, apply. Beam applied, okay. Now, here they are. Oh wow, that is pretty cool. Uh, it does look pretty nice on the bigger display. I, I gotta give it up. Uh, here it is. Yeah, dude, this is um, this is legit. Uh, I don't see very many things that are different. Let's see here. Well, this is different. Um, when you long press, come on. When you long press here, you get this. When you long press on the launcher, you get this. So let's get into this real quick. Let's go into system settings and see what it does. Oh, it just takes me here. And let's do it again here. Let's go to manage apps. And so this is just for widgets and things like that. So it just looks a little different. Um, wallpaper, edit page. Okay. Oh, and I've, I've got blink feed. <laughs> wow. Okay. So yeah, I have blink feed. Oh, I got to set it up. All right, blink feed, here we go. Add content. Oh, that's definitely like a little bug. I can't get to my content because I got uh, that there. The, the little icon there was kind of blocking it. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame you gotta give access to all of this just to do something, wow. Man. Let's go see, can Google Plus be added? I got Google Plus over here. Uh, I guess Google Plus cannot be added. Uh, let me see. Let me, before I say that, let me try to get in here. I'm actually actually digging this. Uh, yeah, Google Plus is not in this list. That's kind of weird. It showed there, but my calendar and agenda is there. That's kind of mealtime recommendations. <laughs> nah. So at least you have some some kind of blink feed here. Um, that's good, but it's kind of definitely a bug because down here it. it the camera is kind of blocking the add button at first, but I'm sure with some updates they can fix that. Uh, but man, okay, so HTC has their launcher and this is it. Um, as you can see here next to the real deal, um, this is what it is. So I tried to install this on some devices like the J7 and the K10 and it didn't work, but as soon as I uh, got to this phone. There's a link that you click on if you're a beta tester and it takes you right to the Play Store and it'll let you know if it's available to download or not. And it is available for me only on this phone though. Um, wish I could rip the APK and then give it out to everybody and use it on my other phones too. But um, this is actually, God, I got to give it up. This is actually pretty nice. It looks good. So um, there you have it, man. Uh, just a quick walkthrough. Nothing spectacular. I'm not going to give you this long detailed this is what this is, no, no, so I press the Play Store button and it goes into the Play Store. Um, it's already got some ratings there. I'm gonna give it five stars because I actually, I like it, man. I like it, it's actually pretty smooth. I don't know that I would keep this launcher on here over uh, the Moto launcher for sure, the Google Now, I mean, but um, I'll test it out for a little bit and I'll look a little bit and I'll look for bugs and stuff. Uh, but as it sits right now, I don't I don't really see anything uh, wrong with it. Let's try a little quick a little speed test. Got a lot of stuff open. All right, let's see. Just a quick little deal here, just to kind of see which one does it. Oh yeah, definitely. You might think I didn't hit that at the same time, but I did. Okay, so maybe maybe I didn't. I don't know. It's pretty good. Let's open the camera. Well, let's open Twitter. This boils down to performance right here, but the launcher does play a part. So yeah, man, um, that's pretty sweet. The HTC um, Sense launcher is now available.
uh, for download if you're a beta tester. Um, HTC Sense. So I can't see it in here. So I don't know what that's about, but it should be in this list unless it's just one of those deals where it's a link, direct link access. I don't know, but nonetheless, it looks pretty good, man. It, it seems like it runs pretty fast. It adds blink feed. So that's cool. Uh, what what uh, more is not to like if you're an HTC person and you really wanted, you don't like HTC's hardware or you wanted a huge, bigger screen like this, uh, it's, you definitely should uh, put this uh, launcher on. I'm feeling it, man. I'm gonna leave this on here and see how I like it for a little bit and uh, I'll give you, a, give you a shot later on and let you know what I think about it. Anyway, uh, there it is, man. HTC 10 and uh, Moto X running the Sense Launcher. Pretty sweet. See you guys in the next one.